Good morning, ASU Prep Digital Sun Devils. My name is Naomi. In today's episode, please join us in saying the pledges. After the pledges, we have a Spanish phrase of the week, a fun at home, and a teacher close. Have a great week. Go Sun Devils! Hi, ASU. Please keep your mics muted as I say the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, for liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Have a nice day. I am a proud ASU Prep Digital Sun Devil. This means I am ambitious, sincere, unique, prepared, and dependable. I take pride in my work. I respect myself and others. I accept responsibility for my attitude, words, and actions. I will do my personal best for this is the Sun Devil way. Work hard, be kind, dream big. Go Sun Devils! Bye! The Spanish word of the day for the week is Cayamable. This means be kind. Thank you and bye. Good morning, ASU Prep Digital Elementary. My name is Lucas Brays. T- today's ASU Fun Fact of the Week is ASU enrolls from over 150 countries. That's it for me. Thanks for watching. Go Sun Devils! Hey everyone, my name is Jojo Hood. Today we're going to be making heart origamis. I hope you enjoy. Today all you're going to need is construction paper and a pair of scissors. So we're going to start by taking our construction paper and making it into a square. So we're going to take it and fold it like this. So it is matching the bottom line. Then we're going to take the scissors and cut along this edge. All right, now we have a square. So when we folded it to make it into a square, we already folded it like this, that's perfect. Now we're going to fold it diagonally in the other direction, corner to corner. Then crease. And then open it back up. We're going to take our paper like this, take this corner and fold it to the middle. Then take the bottom corner and fold it to the top here. Next, we'll take these, fold like this to the middle. And on the other side. Now take your origami heart, flip it over, take these and fold it down to this line. Then take these and fold the same way. When you flip it back over, you should have your origami heart. It should look something like this. I hope you enjoy making an origami heart with me. See you next time. Bye. Hi, my name is Zoe, and today we are going to be making super moist cherry chip cookies. Um, So first, what you're going to need is some oil, a bowl, cake mix, and some eggs. Okay, first what you're going to do is you're going to want to open your cake mix. So I've cut open my cake mix and now I'm going to pour it into the box. I should have probably made a bigger hole, but, you know, oh well. 
put my cake mix to the side and we're gonna get half a cup of oil. So I got my measure right here, measuring cup. I'm gonna fill it up halfway. Okay, and I'm gonna pour it into my cake mix. And we are gonna get two eggs. Now I have my two eggs and I'm going to add it into the cake mix. And I'm going to take my stirring spoon and kind of get all my egg out. Okay, then we're going to whisk my batter all together. And if you want to use cookie cutters, you can go grab your cookie cutters. And I'm going to keep mixing until my batter looks done. Cookie batter was a little hard for me to mix, so if you want, you can always get your parent to help like my mom just did. Okay, thank you, Mom, for helping me. But now we have preheated our oven to 350 and it is ready and so is our batter. So we took our pan and we put a silicone sheet on. Um, but if you don't have one, you can always just grease your pan. We have been using a ice cream scoop to scoop out our batter and this is how it looks. So we are going to keep doing that until it is completely full. Okay, so we ran out of room on our pan. It is completely full, and this is how it looks. So we are going to take this small other pan that we have greased with oil, and we are going to fill that one up. Okay, now that we've finished both pans, we are going to put it in our oven. Now we are going to set a timer for nine minutes and we'll see you when they're done. They are baking, spend your time with family and friends. So our cookies are almost done and we have our supplies. We're ready to take them out. <laughs> I guess they're done now. So we're gonna take all our cookies out of the oven. We put on my gloves. We are going to take out this cookie pan. And we are going to get out our other cookie pan. Now one tray of our cookies are done, so we're going to scoop them off and put them on the cooling rack. Now we are going to take some frosting after we stirred it up so there's no creases. We're going to take a cookie and we're going to put on some frosting. You don't have to frost them. I just want to frost this cookie and it's not going to look perfect. But it'll still be something. That's a lot of frosting. Okay, now it's a taste test and the other pan is done. We are going to taste test our cookie. Make it. Hello, Sun Devils. This is Mr. Tribble, the fourth grade teacher here at ASU Prep Digital. 
coming to you live from Phoenix, Arizona, with a message for you to make sure that you work hard, be kind, and dream big. I hope you have a great week. Go Sun Devils. Forks out.